What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. It's been a little bit. I took a little bit of a break. I had 12 days down, spent some time with family, some friends, and now we're getting back on track. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Chris Kellum. I'm an Army National Guard soldier. Right now I am documenting a weight loss series and I have something really interesting for you guys in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on post notifications. Let's start the video. Now for these summer shredding updates, we do a weigh-in that'll come later in the video, which is AKA tomorrow. But right now, I'm gonna show you guys my grocery haul because I'm starting a whole new plan and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I bought for groceries and I'm gonna fill you guys in on what plan I'm using because you guys can download it yourself and you guys can cater it to your macros and your goals as well. So if you guys aren't familiar with Stan Efferdine, he's a pro bodybuilder, he has a program called the vertical diet. What I'm doing over the next week is I'm gonna document the process of eating strictly the vertical diet. It's pretty cool, the program gives you a full grocery list, gives you a whole meal plan, it even gives you like workout plans and stuff, but you guys can also get access to all my workout plans if you download my fitness app, which will be first link in the description. I'm gonna show you guys the grocery haul and then we're gonna go through the meals and then we're gonna do an update video next week on the progress that I made or the progress I didn't made, didn't make, following the vertical diet. So we got some spinach, we're gonna freeze that up, um, probably put half of it into a monster mash. I'll show you guys what monster mash is down the road. I've also been doing a vitamin and hydration mixture for pre-workout in the mornings. For carbonation and to feel full late at night, I do a Zevia. This is the root beer flavor of my favorite. A lot of eggs will be consumed on this diet, so we got 60 eggs. We bought some sweet potatoes. We got some uh, bell peppers, I bought some halos from Walmart. We also got some ground bison. I will say that this plan was kind of expensive. And then we got some grass-fed ground beef to kind of mix it up because it's a little more lean. It's 90-10. And then we're going to be eating steak every day. That's the coolest thing about this diet. We're going to be eating eggs and steak every day. Two of my favorite foods. We got some carrots. Also, we got some chicken tenderloins. Not a big fan of the chicken breasts. I don't know why, but I feel like they taste bad. So I like chicken tenders. I got chicken tenderloins. We got some Colby Monterey Jack and Cheese. It calls for sharp cheddar, but this seemed more healthier, so I bought this one and I actually prefer it. And then we're gonna be eating salmon, 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 or some type of fish throughout the week. Maybe tuna fish, we'll switch it up. Again, some more uh, vitamins and electrolytes, stuff that'll be putting in my water daily. This calls for some strictly cranberry juice. If you guys ever had this, you guys know it's super tart, but that's what the program calls for. And again, some more hydration. Hydration. I just love to be hydrated and then the monster mash and a ma majority of the food he cooks It's in bone broth also calls for some Greek yogurt. It called for 2% But I personally prefer the 0% it also calls for OJ or the cuties or oranges So I'll be going back and forth between these two and then these are gonna be my pre-workout snacks I'll do one chocolate cake and one lightly salted cake for the gym. That's pretty much the meal plan for the next week. And like I said guys, if you guys want, you guys can download my fitness app which actually has my nutrition guide on there, supplement recommendations, I have a whole list of workouts on there. It'll be $1 for your first month and then I believe you get a seven day free trial to start. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link down below, download the fitness app, Give me some feedback. I'm really trying to figure out what needs to improve, what you guys really like on the app. And yeah, let's uh, put all these groceries away. Alrighty guys, good morning. It is breakfast time. This is a lot of food. So I, I noticed that the Vertical Diet has a breakfast heavy meal option. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I chose the 2000 calorie option. If you guys are wondering, I use calculator.net and I went and did calorie calculator, which I've showed you guys in previous videos. This is a pretty big breakfast. I don't know if you guys have ever drank cranberry juice fresh, but it's super tart. So we're gonna chug this really quick. two ounces down the hatch. All right guys, so meal number two is, I, I guess it's just about as heavy calorie wise as meal number one. So we have, we're gonna do bison. Um, we could do top sirloin if we wanted to. 
We're gonna do a cup of rice, or you can choose a potato. We're gonna do, we threw some peppers in the bison, and then I'm cooking the rice in bone broth, and then one small OJ. And this is gonna be my pre-workout meal for the gym. Alrighty guys, so breakfast came out to about 680 calories. Again, we had four whole eggs, four egg whites. I threw some Colby Jack cheese on there, and then we had some oatmeal, some carrots, some cranberry juice, unsalted cashews, and then of course we added in the Opti Greens. That's actually 35 calories, so we actually had about 715 calories for breakfast. While we let the food cook, let me update you. So the past two weeks, I hung out with my family, they came down, we did some partying, we hung out in the sun, and went golfing, I had a phenomenal time. I still was semi-strict semi strict with the food options that I chose, but I did drink alcohol. But when I drank alcohol, I was also cautious on what kind of mixtures I was using. So I stuck to tequila, or I did seltzer waters, and I would do diet sodas. Sodas with empty calories, because if we're drinking our calories, we're gonna drink our calories, AKA alcohol. So I would say that's a really good practice, is uh, you don't have to cut out the fun. You can just, you know, minimize the damage you do by try to be aware of good food choices, which I know is very difficult to do. If you can stick to good food choices, if you can cut out the empty calories from the mixers, you're gonna be fine. And I weighed about 188, 189, and that's kind of where I left off two weeks ago when my family came. So I didn't lose anything, I didn't gain anything, but we'll find out tomorrow when we do the weigh-in on the scale, and what my results are, because it's been a little bit since I've done a weigh-in. Super excited to get back on track, and that's the good thing about this, is if you fall off track, it's not the end of the world. All you gotta do is set a new plan and get back on track, and that's it, as simple as that. While we get this food cooking, I do want to give a shout out to Carlos. If you guys didn't know, I ran my first four week fitness challenge on my fitness app, and Carlos lost nine pounds over those four weeks. Here's his before and after picture. So he won $250 for his awesome transformation. We're gonna be doing another four week fitness challenge. April 26th is gonna be the registration date. May 3rd is gonna be the official start day and May 30th will be the end of the challenge. So if you guys do want to sign up for this fitness challenge, let me know down in the comments below. You're gonna get access to my Facebook community. I'm gonna be posting more often this time. Last challenge, I didn't. I posted once a week, but I'm trying to post at least two or three times in that community. And all cost is $14.99, which is one month subscription to my fitness app for your chance to better yourself and win some money. Let me know if you guys wanna join. Super excited to have you. If you do, also congrats, Carlos. You crushed it, man. This meal is complete. We have a cup of white rice cooked in bone broth. You guys should try that out. Tastes amazing. And then we got five ounces of bison with some diced up peppers. This also calls for some spinach as well, two cups of spinach, but my spinach is frozen and I'm gonna have that for my post-workout shake. And then it also calls for four ounces of an orange. So I used two little cuties. We're gonna eat this, chill, let it digest for an hour, hit the gym. Can we talk about how much volume this is? Holy cow. Post-workout shake. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, before I chug two liters of a post-workout -work protein shake, I wanna go over my in-body results. So we are up 2.1 pounds. We've also lost 2.2 pounds of muscle. Says we gained about 5.6 pounds of fat. And that was in the matter of about three and a half weeks. Now, I don't feel like I've gained that much fat. Again, this is just another metric that we're gonna use 
to continue to document this weight loss. Now, I also went on a two week vacation, if you wanna call it, spent time with family, friends. I didn't track any food, I ate whatever I wanted. I had some drinks a majority of the time as well, but I made sure to get some type of activity in. I didn't lift weights. I made sure to get some cardio in here and there. But again, this is what life's all about. It's it's not all always about a constant line up. There's gonna be times where you go up and down, up and down. It's just part of the ebb and flow of life. If anything, I'm even more motivated to get back on track, calculating my macros and tracking my macros, and to see which type of progress I can make over these next two, three, even four weeks. Any questions, you guys can always shoot me a text, 617-286-3802. One of the goals that I set this year was to kind of learn about the real estate market and how um, investing in property works. So what I did was I signed up for a real estate class. So I'm starting that next month. I'm also applying to an active duty guard position, or it's a ADOS. I'll be full-time guard. I believe I still have to drill one week in a month for guard if I get this job. But um, it's a pretty cool spot. It's an instructor slot. And I should know more about this within the next two or three weeks. Yeah, so I'm super excited to get, got some new goals, trying to crack away at some more stuff this year. So if you guys are real estate agents, or if you guys have any helpful information for me for when the test comes at the end of May, let me know. You guys can also text me any information you have as well, any YouTube videos, anything that helps you guys study, I'd greatly appreciate it. Before we go anywhere, I need to show you guys this new Cuts t-shirt. They have a new logo stitch on the side. This is Pima Cotton. They've actually partnered with a company called Eco Drive to give back to Madagascar. So today is Earth Day. I'll be posting this video this weekend. For every purchase order that you make at Cuts, they're gonna plant a one mangrove tree, I believe, or a bunch of mango trees. Not too positive, but if you guys want, this is the shirt I've been sporting for the past year now. There's a link down below where you guys can save some money at checkout. So we are about to go for a walk. And this plan requires you take at least a 10 to 15 minute walk after every meal. And what I'm gonna be doing is try to hit 10 to 15,000 steps a day on top of my workout. So we're at 6,000 steps right now. In case you're wondering, I am listening to a new podcast. I just finished the last one called Pivot and Go. I'll put it right there. But this is the new one, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Really good listen. Let's go for a walk and I'll see you when I get back. Walk is done. We went for about a 55 minute walk. We got three miles in. And cool thing about walking is like, I burned 350 calories just by walking. Nothing strenuous. Went for a walk, listened to a podcast, learned some new stuff. So I'm gonna go over a few goals that I have for this next week while taking on the vertical diet. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you guys want to try out the vertical diet yourself, it's gonna be the first link in the description. Check it out. But my goal is to walk at least 30 minutes a day. I'm going to shoot for 10 to 15,000 steps a day as well. And then we're gonna do 30, 25 to 30 minutes of cardio at the gym on top of my regular workout routine. And we get about two and a half weeks until I take some more time off because I'm going to a bachelor party. Life happens, you have these events. No need to cancel your life because of a goal. You gotta learn to incorporate fun times into your life while managing to stay healthy and uh, enjoying yourself. We have one life update. So I know I talked about I need a waiver or a letter of acceptance to go to flight school in the army. I just recently transferred to the aviation unit. As of right now, um, the first week of June, I should be doing the procedure. Again, it's called an ablation. Hopefully the second time is the charm and they're able to successfully ablate the extra electrical circuit. And if it's successful, we can work on sending that to Rucker to get a letter of acceptance slash waiver. And then I should be good to go for the next flight board, which is gonna be about the third quarter in the year, I believe. And of course, we have a four week fitness challenge coming up, starts April 26th. If you guys want to sign up, leave a comment down below, text me, whatever you have to do, email me. Yeah, I'd love to have you guys a part of the challenge. We had about 49 people in the last challenge. I'm hoping to get the next challenge up to 100 people. Had a really good turnout. I'm excited. You guys get access to my Facebook community. Last thing, 
If you guys have ever heard of Bravo Sierra, that's a company that I work for. They are looking for ambassadors. And if you guys want to join my ambassador team, there's gonna be a link. It's gonna be the second one in the description. You guys can sign up and join my team. You get chances to win free products, uh, prizes and money and gear. Um, they send out like weekly missions that are fun for you guys to do. And once completed, you are entered in to win some stuff. So why not? Hope you guys have an amazing week, weekend, whatever day it is when you're watching this. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me know down in the comments below if you learn something new. Also let me know what you guys want to learn through this Summer Shredding series. I'll see you guys on the next video.